Please be seated. Members of the jury, I understand you have a verdict. Members of the jury, I will now read the verdicts as they will appear in the permanent records of the 4th Judicial District. State of Minnesota, County of Hennepin, District Court, 4th Judicial District. State of Minnesota Plaintiff versus Derek Michael Chauvin, Defendant. Verdict, Count 1. Court File Number 27, CR 20-12646. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to Count 1, unintentional second-degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021, at 1.44 p.m. Signed, juror four-person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count two. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count two, third-degree murder, perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021, at 1.45 p.m. Signed by jury four-person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count three. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count three, second-degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021, at 1.45 p.m. Jury four person 019. Members of the jury, I'm now going to ask you individually if these are your true and correct verdicts. Please respond yes or no. Jury number two, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number nine, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 19, are these your true and correct verdicts? Then they're going to jail. Juror number 27, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 44, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 52, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 55, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 79, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 85, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 89, is this your, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 91, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 92, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Are these your verdicts? So say you one, so say you all. Yes. 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 Members of the jury, I find that uh, the verdicts as read reflect the will of the jury and will be filed accordingly. I have to thank you on behalf of the people of the state of Minnesota for not only jury service, but heavy duty jury service. What I'm gonna ask you to do now is to follow the deputy back into your usual room and I will join you in a few minutes to answer questions and to advise you further. So all rise for the jury. What's next? All right, be seated. With the guilty verdicts returned, we're going to have uh, Blakely, you may file a uh, written argument as to Blakely factors within one week. The court will issue findings on the Blakely factors, the factual findings. One week after that, we'll order a PSI immediately returnable in four weeks. And we will also have a briefing on, after you get the PSI, six weeks from now, and then eight weeks from now, we will have sentencing. We'll get you the exact dates uh, in a scheduling order. Is there a motion on behalf of the state? Your Honor, the state would move to have the court uh, revoke the defendant's bail and remand him into custody uh, pending sentencing. Bail is revoked, bond is discharged, and the defendant is remanded to the custody of the Hampton County Sheriff. Anything further? All right. All right. Thank you. He could have. Guilty, guilty, guilty on all three counts, Gail. And Officer Chauvin is now headed to jail. I know. I think, Nora, many people were surprised. Many people are surprised to know that he hasn't been in jail all this time, that now for the first time after sitting through the trial and being out, that he is now heading to jail tonight. But I have to tell you, when the verdict was read at, at 510 in, in our time, 505, 506, 
I mean, we started hearing horns honking. I think you felt jaws dropping. I think people yeah, because you don't believe a, a cop one, go to jail. To get all I, three, I don't believe I it until it's, 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 it's done. So, and, to, and to get a unanimous verdict too on all three charges, I think is absolutely stunning. Says something to the case that the prosecution put on and what the jurors believed. You know, when Jerry Blackwell said, believe what your eyes tell you, believe what you feel in your hearts, and apparently they did exactly that. I, I got a little emotional myself, Gail, because, you know, so many people yes. were so worried yes. that, that justice yes. wouldn't come through. You know, that justice wouldn't come yes, through. I, and, yes. and, that, and that the resulting anger and fear um, would hit the streets. You know what I mean? And in many cities you know, across America, I know exactly and I mean. hope that for many people, that this is a sense that the justice system can work. Um, and that, you know, the prosecution, you know, brought in some very... <coughs> Here, what did you think about the verdict? I felt relieved. I felt relieved that he was found guilty on all three counts. And now I'm ready for all the rest of the police that have murdered black men and women to be found guilty on all charges of murder. But did you have doubts that you would see this day, even though you, like the rest of the world, saw that videotape? Yes. I didn't have doubts that he was guilty. Well, we know he's guilty. I had doubts ain't, in ain't a question. Of white supremacy. Yeah. And white supremacy saying that no matter if you're white, you can get away with murder as long as it's a person that is black. Well, what in your history has in, uh, informed your opinion over the years? <laughs> All you have to do is read about the history of black people since we've been in America, since 1619, year after year after year. We have never been treated like citizens. We've always been treated like slaves. And some say that we've been treated like second-class citizens. Yep. But for the most part, citizens have not been part of the equation when it comes to black people. And in Minneapolis, as I have a long history in terms of dealing with the police in Minneapolis, and the police in Minneapolis 15 years ago jumped on my son, and now we fast forward to 2021, and you take a person like me and we say, oh, I'm relieved that they didn't kill my son. They just beat him. We yeah, ain't that something? That's what we got to look for today. Uh, at least they didn't kill your son, ma'am. They just beat the hell out of him for a few minutes. Ain't that something? You shouldn't have to do that. That's not That's what you do to citizens. And so what we're looking for is taking it to the next level. And the next level in terms of getting our freedom. And black people got to get their freedom, freedom like in America people. where they already born. Freedom looks like our right to vote. Freedom looks like our right to assemble without being shot at. Thank you very much for your time. The crowd is taking to the streets here on the other day. We can't get too. happy yet. We you ain't done. To, to, to hear the verdict read aloud, you heard people here on the grassy knoll area outside the government center celebrating. Are you celebrating right now, too? Well, I need to follow my black leaders, my black women leaders who say, take a moment, celebrate this time, and then we got to get back in that fight. And as yeah, it ain't, said, fight ain't over. Fight ain't over. It ain't never over. <laughs> it ain't never over. So we need to take the celebration. It should have been obvious. Yeah, it shouldn't, have take, sure. it shouldn't, it shouldn't take a year. And the fight is just beginning. Well, thank you very much for your time. I'm sure you want to join the crowd. We still got 400 damn years ago. We ain't done. You know, that. Have a, a sampling, just a sampling of the sentiment here after this verdict. Jeff Pagay's with those powerful interviews. Jeff. Mm -hmm.